Hi, it's Jack coming at you today here from Abshot HQ in Titchfield Common. I hope you're all well and keeping safe. Uh, now in today's video, what I want to actually discuss with you is the three most common mistakes that people make uh, when it comes to selling their property um, and how these mistakes can have a negative impact on the whole selling process for you because it's important as we discussed in the previous video to get preparation right, isn't it? Uh, so I'm going to go through these three common mistakes uh, so that you don't have to make them. So number one, mispricing your home. Uh, over or underpricing. Uh, you know, there's a saying in estate agency, and that's that the worst estate agent uh, can sell an underpriced home. But even the best estate agent, most experienced agent, can't sell an overpriced one. Now most commonly, what I'm seeing is homeowners overprice their homes. Now, this can cause you to sell your home for far less than you would have done if you priced it correctly in the first place. Because the longer that a home is on the market, the less it's going to sell for, and that is just a fact. Now, homeowners sometimes tell me that they want to start off at a price that they know their home isn't worth, but then that over the next several weeks, they want to lower the price um, bit by bit until they find the point that their home will sell at. But here's the problem. And the problem with that strategy is that home is most attractive and receives the most and highest level of interest within the first two weeks that it goes on the market. So if it takes you 30 days to then lower your price to the true market value, that's not the same as putting it on the market at the right price from day one. And I think there's some psychological warfare behind this because... When a property first comes on the market, buyers, they feel like they found this new secret listing and they rush out to be the first one to have a look at it before anyone else has the opportunity. Whereas if the property has been on the market for three months, then buyers will think, well, you know, there must be something wrong with this property. Or they might think, you know, why does anyone else not want to buy it? So because of this, it's important that you price your home accurately. So when you first place it on the market, you've got to get it right. And number two, using bad photographs. According to Rightmove, around 90% of buyers find their home on the internet. That's a fact. So this means that your internet presence is absolutely crucial. And if you have bad photos, this is definitely going to affect the amount of viewings that you get on your property. And eventually, it's going to affect how much you sell it for. Now, there's nothing worse than when you take your own photos and send them to your estate agent. The photos you've taken on your smartphone, although they might look nice on a small screen because the garden was looking its best or whatever, but they're not going to be high resolution enough and they're just not going to be quite right. So you need to leave it to the professionals. What you've got to make sure is that you have a good collection of photographs and that have been taken professionally with all the right equipment because great photos can help you sell your home for more money. And number three is not preparing your home to go on the market. Now I spoke about this in the previous video. Buyers want a property that they can move straight into. They don't want to inherit a home that has already got loads and loads of issues and problems with it. Because buying a home, you know, is a stressful process. So a buyer doesn't want to move straight in and, you know, have to start fixing all of these issues. You know, also bear in mind that a buyer is going to pay for a survey and if a surveyor is going to come around, they're going to look at almost every inch of your property and they're going to discover any little things that need to be done. You know, and at this point, a buyer can either insist that you put those works right or they're going to ask you to lower the price to compensate for the work. And, the, and at worst, they could even walk away from the deal completely. Um, so I recommend that, you know, you fix any of these issues before you go onto the property market. Um, you know, and, and we spoke about before about de -sta about staging, decluttering, depersonalizing. And again, I'll link down to the free 10 tips to increase the value of your home, um, which has been downloaded loads of times. So thank you for that. I think we had about 20 people uh, download it um, from what is a really, really small channel. So I'm going to link that again. Um, please feel free to use it. It's, you know, proved popular so far. Um, and obviously, as ever, if you have any questions, if you're thinking of buying, if you're thinking of selling, if you're thinking of investing, just give me a call. Um, here to help, here to advise. Um, I look forward to seeing you soon and see you on the next video.